Hi guys, welcome to this video in the series Java Tutorials for Beginners. In this video we're going to be looking at objects and object interaction. So we've got two objects here, we've got sorry, two classes. We've got a shop class and a manager class. Shop is basically just going to represent a shop, manager will represent the manager of that shop. So let's go into our shop class, let's create a variable private string shop name Let's instantiate that variable and say shop name equals sweet shop. Let's have an accessor method public string get shop name. So it's just basically going to retrieve the shop name, in other words, sweet shop. What we can do now is have another variable. We're going to say this time, instead of having a primitive data type, we're going to use an object data type. So we're going to use manager, manager. So this manager data type refers to an instance of this manager class. In other words, an object of this manager class. And this is just the variable name. We're going to instantiate that and say manager equals null. It'll do this automatically, but it's better just at this stage to be a little bit more explicit. We're going to have another method that says public void, and it's going to be a mutator method. It's going to be public void set manager. And we're going to pass it a parameter. And that parameter is going to be an instance of a manager. So it's going to be a manager object. So we need to say we're passing it an instance of manager and we're just going to call it input manager. And what we're going to say in the method is manager equals input manager. So this is basically going to take the parameter um, value, the, the uh, this instance of manager, pass it to here and pass it to this manager, which, which is the instance variable here. I'm going to go out of this now and I'm going to go into manager and as you can see here that there's a um, an arrow from shop to manager. This is basically um, a way of saying that shop contains an instance of manager. So let's go into here and say let's have a variable now. So we're, now we're in manager, um, the uh, manager class. So let's have a method private string manager name and what we're going to do here instead of actually just setting the um, manager name to a value instead of just saying manager name equals you know a, um, a certain name what we're going to do instead is pass it through as a parameter from the constructor so when we create an instance of this object it's going to be at first asking for a parameter value so we're going to say string input name input name. So this will set the manager's name. We're going to have another method which is public which is um, a uh, an accessor method so it's going to be public string get manager name and that is simply going to return manager name. So this is the basic outline of our two classes then. So we've got this and we have this. So this is the basic outline that we're going to work from. So if I just go out of this now and if we compile this, let's also actually go into a shop and let's have another method, one more method. And we're going to say public void uh, print shop details. So what we're going to do here is say system dot out dot print line and we're going to say we're going to print two things when we print the shop details. We're going to print the the name of the shop and we're going to print the name of the manager. So we're going to say something like shop name leave a space and we're then going to actually print the shop name. So 
all we have to do there is say shop name because we've got shop name here. Now, to print out the manager's name, what we're going to have to say is so we say manager name and we're going to leave a space as we said. And now to print out the manager's name, you can see that we can't actually there is no manager name here. We've got we've got shop name, but we haven't actually got the manager's name. So but what we do have is the object. We've got the object manager. So we can say and if we actually just put this side by side with manager, this might be helpful. You can see here that on the manager object here when we when we actually set the manager. So initially as we said there is no manager, but when we set the manager we're going to be passing it an object and this is going to be what's in the object. So in, in other words, so we're going to have a variable manager name which we have to put um, which we have to pass when we create the instance of the object. So it has a get manager name method. So what we can do to grab the name is to say manager dot get manager name. And we need a set of uh, brackets here because it's a method. So what this is saying is in the manager object, call the get manager name method. And we've got the get manager name method here, and that returns the manager name, which is this manager name, which we've already set when we um, instantiated the object through the constructor. So let's run this method now. Let's compile this. Let's create an instance of shop. And if we get the shop name, it'll bring out sweet shop, as we know. Let's create an instance of manager. And as we said, we have to pass an, a name through the constructor. So we're going to just say Tom. Let's create another instance of manager, but this time we're just going to use a different name, James. So we've got manager one here, which represents James. So we can we can call the get manager name method. It returns Tom. Sorry, yeah, so the first one was Tom and get manager name. This one's James. Now in the shop, if we print the details, it's not going to print out with the manager yet because as we said, we have to, we've we initially set manager to null, so this object is going to represent nothing. So what we're going to do now is right click, we're going to set our manager and we, we can either write out manager 1 exactly as it's written here or manager 2 but we or, or we could just click on it. So you click on manager 1, it'll automatically put it in there for you. Click OK. Now, if we print out the shop details, you'll see that it says shop name, sweet shop, manager name, Tom. So what it's doing here to grab this name Tom, as we said, if I just bring that back up as well, we said that it's accessing a method from the manager object, but we're in shop. So we're not in the manager object, we're in the shop object, but it's calling a method from the manager object that's how it can grab the name Tom. So as we said as well, we can set manager. So we've already had to set manager for Tom. Now, if we were to use the set manager again, but for the object of which the name is James, it'll replace the object that it's currently pointing to that manager here is currently manager here is currently pointing to the object with the name Tom. If we were to call this set manager again, it's going to replace that, and this this uh, variable here manager is now going to point to the variable James when we change it, and therefore here manager dot get manager name will return James. So let's do an example of that. So let's go to shop, set manager, and now before as we said, this was manager one, which was Tom. Now we're going to click on manager two. So it's now going to replace Tom. So we're going to say void print shop details and you can see here that it says now shop name sweet shop as, as we said and manager name James because it's replaced what's being pointed to. So manager now is pointing to, so if I just move this across, if I move this across and we can see now that this manager is now pointing to this object whereas previously this manager variable was pointing to this 
object. So that's basically it for this video, um, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, if you did find this video useful then please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.